If you've ever wondered the impact glass has on red light therapy lights, this video is for you. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfocus.com and beside me I have a red light therapy panel from Mito Red. This is the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. It is rather bright so I'm going to turn it off. Now in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the power irradiance from this panel. Then I'm going to put this panel on the other side of this glass door from my Sunstream sauna and I'm going to retest the light uh, and see if glass impacts the um, irradiance in any way. I don't think it will. I think the irradiance will be pretty much identical, maybe a few percent out, um, but I don't expect it to be drastically lower. Now, but hey, we, who knows? Maybe there will be some weird things going on and this is why I figured I'd do this video. I've actually been asked this question a few times, like, hey, what happens if you put it on the other side of glass? Um, does it impact the light? and you know does it change things so yeah that's what we're going to find out in this video a lot of people actually asked me if you can use these panels while you're in the shower so you know you'd be in the shower and then you'd have the the panel on the outside of the shower in fact i was going to film this in my little bathroom i have here um to test that and i still may but um it's just going to be tricky getting everything in the tight space whereas out here uh, i got a lot more room to move and i have a perfectly good pane of glass behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the light at say four inches using my spectrometer and that will measure the light irradiance or the power output. Uh, we'll take a reading then we're going to set this panel up somehow um, and we'll go we'll probably go inside and we'll take the reading again from four inches with the glass in between us. Simple really. Um, Going back to that thought I just had, a lot of people say, hey, can you use it when you're in the shower? What's going to happen? Yada, yada, yada. Now, I know they're asking what's going to happen from a point of view, like is the glass or the water going to impact you know, performance? And uh, like I said, I'm not too sure. We'll find out soon. But I highly recommend you don't do that. Uh, use a red light therapy panel in the bathroom because as you can see, these are not watertight devices look at all the openings there you can see circuitry and cables and whatnot um, there's big openings on the back with the fan uh, and yeah they're quite a there's a lot of electronics in there right I would not want to get water in these uh, whether it splashes of water or just you know moisture in the air you're asking for trouble uh, especially as this is a metal case and yeah, water electricity don't mix so I highly recommend not to use it in the bathroom unless you could somehow case this in its own protective cabinetry and yeah but saying that even then I, I just wouldn't risk it so, okay so what I'll do is I'm actually going to make a mark of where to test this panel uh, where we test the, the reading and then um, at least we control for that variable so let me get everything set up so we're getting figures as low as 87 and as high as 93, 94. All right, I've got that set up. There's about an inch gap between the panel and the glass. I'll show you that. Because this glass has a very slight tint to it. It's not perfectly clear. We'll see how this goes, uh, but there is a bit of a tint there, so that could impact the light. I mean, it should impact the light. Anyway, let's go test. Yeah, these numbers are way down. 37, 36, 35. It's, it's quite incredible. Okay, so just as another experiment, I've got the panel two thirds over the glass and one third over. So I'm just gonna check it again from the same distance. Yeah, 36, 35, 36, we're roughly on that mark. 37, 37, 41, 49, 58, 52, 57, 64, 48. Wow, so that was Quite interesting. Um, the glass is blocking a lot of the light. Now, if you're wondering why it didn't get right up to the 80s or 90s when I came off to the side, um, it's because there's only a thin strip of LEDs there. Um, 
and really you need to be right in the middle to get those peak readings. I guess if you're gonna use your sunstream sauna and put a red light therapy panel on the outside while you're sitting inside, know that you're losing more than half at four inches at least of the light. Uh, again, it could be because this glass is tinted. It's slightly dirty, not bad, but um, maybe the tint. So, okay, so here we are in a bathroom. Uh, I've got the red light therapy panel propped up here. And we've got a glass pane here. Now somehow I'm gonna have to get this nice and straight uh, and take a measurement and then read it on the inside. Um, it's gonna be a bit tricky. It's not gonna be super scientific, but it should give us a rough idea. Let's do it. All right, let's test this. So I'm gonna test at the same spot on the dot. Uh, I'm gonna count for the distance away from the glass. So we've got 69, 70, 71, 71, 70. So it's a lot higher than the sunstream glass, but it is um, still, what, 20 milliwatts over centimeter squared lower than doing it without the glass. Now what's interesting, I've got a double door here, so if I push this forward, it should lower itself even more. Let me just get this steady. Yeah, well, that is interesting. Okay, so <coughs> with just one sheet of glass, we're at 71, 72, right? A lot to have a centimeter squared. With two, it drops down to 59, 60. So, Two sheets of glass, 50, 60 milliwatts over centimeter squared. One sheet of glass, 70. No sheets of glass, 80 odd, even up to 90. So there we go. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Well, we now know that glass actually lessens or weakens the radiance from a red light therapy um, panel. So if you are going to use one of these panels on the other side, of a glass pane or a glass door or a glass window, just know that your what your body is going to receive is actually going to be less than what you would receive if that glass wasn't there. I know I have toyed with the idea of using it in a sauna. What was really interesting is this glass is tinted. Uh, the sunstream glass is tinted um, and that blocks a lot more light than regular shower glass. But even the shower glass still had a, I don't know, 20% drop in irradiance, and this is testing at four inches. So it's quite a lot. I mean, we do need to remember that these modern panels we're using, like the Mito Pro 1500, the Biomaxes, et cetera, are extremely high powered. So sure, 20% may sound like a lot, but you're still getting a good therapeutic dose of red light. But the other thing to remember is if you are gonna use it like outside a sauna or outside a shower or outside of bedroom and you outside for some reason, um, chances are you're not standing your typical six, nine inches from the panel. You might be a lot further away. So you've also got to factor that into the equation. Uh, not only is the light filtering some of that red light, but chances are you're gonna be further away as well, which of course means a drop off in the therapeutic dose. I'm kind of glad now that I tested it on the sauna. I didn't even realize this glass was tinted. Uh, until I started playing around with it. It was just because it was here and I thought it was gonna be easier to film, which it was, but I ended up going in the bathroom anyway. But hey, it's a good comparison, right? It shows that even a little bit of tint, I don't know what this would be, 20% tint maybe, or 80% light through, I'm not too sure. Uh, even a little bit of tint does impact the red light. Uh, and even the glass, the clear glass, you know, like I said, was still, was still dropping the irradiance quite a lot. So hopefully if you've wondered, you know, hey, does glass impact? The levels, hopefully this video has helped you and answered that question. If there's other things like this you'd like me to test, I've done some stuff with mirrors, I plan on doing more testing with mirrors, but maybe there's something else you'd like me to test uh, with a red light therapy light, please leave your ideas in the comments below, I'll do my best to test it. If you've enjoyed this, give me a like, a thumbs up, um, and be sure to subscribe because I will be doing more videos with red light therapy. If you do like any of these products, I will put links to them below. The panel I was using for this experiment was the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. The sauna behind me is my Sunstream uh, Evolve 20. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna sign off and go do a gym workout. I'll talk to you later, bye.